Hey everybody, it is Clint. Welcome to Sweetcast. So just today, Sean Gordon Murphy, or, or yesterday, surprise, I'm recording this the day before, uh, Sean Gordon Murphy said that he's not going to be working with writers anymore. Let me take this, uh, we'll go kind of backward here. <clears throat> so somebody asked him the question about it, and here's the answer before we get to the question, essentially. He says, writing my own stuff means making double the royalties that an artist normally would, which pleases my wife uh yeah <laughs> that's always important uh make sure your wife's happy especially if you want to be making money uh <clears throat> doing something like comics you know definitely makes my wife happy uh that i'm not just spending money on comics i'm actually uh making a little bit of money um so yeah this question came in response to uh sean gordon murphy saying i'm retired from working with writers and it, at at, at uh, face value, that sounds, I don't know, clickbaity? <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Like, that, that's kind of intense uh, that he's retiring from working with writers. Um, now, there's always been kind of this interesting push and pull with writers and artists. Um, either they're happy with each other, they work together, or they're not happy with each other. And I'm, I guarantee there's horror stories from both writers and artists on working with the other. Uh, now, he makes a really good point here, and this is purely about money. This isn't about um, having you know, the correct writer or having a writer that he's not happy with or creative control. Uh, while that might be a portion of it, he didn't say that. It had to do with the money. Um, and that, that's a big deal. Now, comics have, they traditionally were more of a, an assembly line kind of thing. And in fact, um, not necessarily, let's see, an assembly line wouldn't be very accurate. It's called batch processing, <laughs> it's a similar kind of uh, process, uh, but you're working on a project. You sort of do a bit of the assembly line work and then you're done with the projects. You're starting a new one. And, um, you know, you're not just making the same part forever for the rest of your life. It's actually pretty different depending on the book you're working on. Now, creative teams traditionally have been uh, a pretty big part of comics. And the idea was you want to have uh, people specializing in their individual things because that means they can uh, really pump books out quickly and, um, especially when you're looking at volumes of books and getting things out on a monthly basis or sometimes a bi-monthly basis or whatever it might be. Getting things done quick means more hands make lighter work. Um, but then you also have the consistency of the styles, right? Okay, so normally <laughs> there, well, not normally, but there could be as many as the writer, right? The script, oh, in, in this case, it says, uh, I just looked randomly Googled this and this is going to get funnier below, uh, but the script by, so you could have a script story by, um, that's, that's a co-writing situation. That's a, that's a whole other thing. Art by pencils, inks, letters, and editors. And that gets ignored as well. Uh, a bunch of the time. So writers, we know what they're responsible for <laughs> artists. And there's, there's a difference. Artist, penciler, inker, um, colorist, they're all doing different portions of the art and specializing and depending on what combination of people you get, it's obviously going to look a different, a little different. Now this is, article is really one I just looked at to see what the process is and no joke, scroll down editors. And this is the picture that we get. This is the famous, um, milkshake picture with Heather Antos. Um, I still don't completely understand the the details of why this became what it, what it is now but it is funny that it was included in this random article you run into this stuff all the time um yeah and then there's also other things like uh creators publishers yeah see this is just an example i just noticed this too a story by mark wade and chris samney um a script by mark wade art by chris samney um yeah you get the idea so there's two ways of really thinking about this. The having a lot of creative people working together. The problem is you have a lot of people each getting a small piece of the pie. Um, if you're selling a lot of comics and you're doing this in volume, that makes a lot of sense. Some of the things that have changed over time are that people aren't buying comics like they used to. Uh, it's not in any, not anywhere near the, the how much they used to buy them. 
Um, and so does it make more sense to move away from this, to be doing it yourself like Sean Gordon Murphy is, uh, has been explaining. And so I've kind of looked a little bit to see who are some examples of one extreme or the other. And there are several I could have picked from, but I decided to pick Jason Brubaker for being a very do-it-yourself kind of artist. I'm pretty sure he does everything himself. I know he does the writing and the art and the coloring. Perhaps he's doing something else beyond that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, he's, he's a one man show essentially. Um, I haven't, I haven't checked about lettering, but it wouldn't surprise me at all if he's doing that. Now he's not selling the kinds of numbers that you're getting from one of Mark Wade's books uh, that was explaining before, uh, generally speaking. Um, but he's selling enough to obviously, uh, keep himself employed. I know he does it full time. Uh, he's got several books. He works on it all the time and he's putting them out there. So this is, uh, this is one way that it works. It's been proven that it works. And this strange and strangely enough, it feels like the opposite of innovation <laughs> instead of, yeah, of having a team and specializing and all that kind of stuff, moving away and doing it yourself. Um, that works now to say that the other way is dead. Wouldn't be accurate. Cause I'm looking here, for example, at detective dead, um, and this is a great example. One great example I know of, uh, this is Critias's book, uh, detective dead. And he actually has a creative team on this and it sounds like a pretty full creative team, uh, even down to the penciler and inker and colorist, all separate people, uh, working on the same book. This is kind of unusual. Now <laughs> it seems like usually the penciler and the inker are one and the same. That's happening more and more often, especially as digital, uh, art is becomes the norm. But here we have two separate roles, two separate jobs. And then you're adding the colorist on top of that. And he doesn't have everybody, but there obviously needs to be a letter. Uh, it's not listed here. Eric, are you lettering this? He's lettering everything. Uh, Maybe, maybe Eric Weathers is lettering it. I don't know, but he must have a letter. Uh, he, obviously he wrote it. <laughs> so there, there's another, another uh, credit there and editor. I haven't seen anything here. Wouldn't surprise me at all. If he also has an editor, um, this is again, one end of the extreme and it's hard to compare apples to oranges <laughs> really to see, well, how much is, you know, is Critias doing this full time? Is this going to be able to support his family and the creative team? I don't know. I don't think so. Um, but obviously a, a step in the, in the right direction and a really good step. This book does look genuinely really good. Um, and so, yeah, another, you know, another component that comes up there is just managing the creative team, um, and producing the book, being the producer. These are all really important things, but which is better? <laughs> what makes sense now? Do it yourself, uh, or get a team and do it together. I don't know the answer to that question, honestly. I think if you are that talented, if Sean Gordon Murphy is uh, such a great writer that he needs no other writer, obviously he's a great artist, um, then he can just keep doing his thing. Why would he need anybody else? Would adding a big name writer make Sean Gordon Murphy sell any more books than he is right now with his own name <laughs> if he's doing it by himself? Uh, I don't think so. So it actually makes a lot of sense to me that he would just do it himself. It's going to take a lot more time though. It's going to take a lot more work for sure. But if you're getting paid more, I don't know, maybe, maybe that's the way to go. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. I'd be interested uh, to know what you think the future is. Uh, is, are we going to be moving more toward this kind of way of looking at comics, uh, w sort of a one man team doing things, or is there still an important need for the cr full creative team or somewhere in between? Let me know. Don't forget to like subscribe and I will see you next time.